2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV is designed to meet the needs of most people, offering a perfectly sized SUV for small families that provides extensive range without breaking the bank. With a 319-mile EPA range for the front-wheel drive Equinox 2LT and a price tag of $43,295 before federal incentives, it stands out as a very attractive option. Currently, no other electric SUV offers more range for less money. An upcoming 1LT base model, priced at $34,995 and expected to launch later this year, will offer the same range, making it an even better value, though it will come with more basic features. Interior space and comfort. The Equinox sports a sleek design, highlighted by a wide and narrow LED strip, a characteristic feature of Chevy's electric lineup including the Blazer EV and Silverado EV. It competes well with other EVs like the Hyundai Ioniq 5, Tesla Model Y, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and Volkswagen ID.4. Interestingly, even though the Equinox EV is longer and wider than these competitors, it offers slightly less interior space. These differences are minor and not noticeable from the driver's seat. The second row provides ample headroom and legroom for average-sized adults, but the expected extra space isn't quite there. The interior of the 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV is impressive, especially due to its 17.7-inch center touchscreen, which is standard across all trim levels. Similar to the screens in the Blazer EV and Silverado EV, this display is visually striking and offers quick, fluid responsiveness. While it does not support Apple CarPlay, which might disappoint some users, it includes Google's built-in software suite, featuring Spotify and Google Maps. Google's navigation system is particularly clever, as it integrates charging stations into route planning, considering factors like location, speed, and time. A notable feature is the absence of a dedicated start button. Instead, the brake pedal serves this purpose, which makes sense since you need to press it to shift into gear. This might seem unusual at first to those new to EVs, but it becomes intuitive quickly. Chevy has maximized the center console storage area, made possible by the flat floor. There's a bin under a floating center armrest that can hold a handbag, and the absence of a conventional shifter on the center console creates more space. Instead, a column shifter handles the job. Test results. For years, electric motors have been lauded for their quick, responsive acceleration ideal for daily commuting, merging onto highways, or seizing small gaps in traffic. However, new Equinox EV owners might find themselves wondering about these praises. We tested two Equinox models, a high-trim 3RS front driver and the current entry-level 2LT all-wheel drive variant. The front drive Equinox EV's permanent magnet front motor, shared with the Blazer EV, makes 213 horsepower. Saddle that output with our testers 4,923 pounds, and you get a segment trailing power to weight ratio. That's evident by the 7.7 second 60 miles per hour acceleration and 16.1 second quarter mile pass we recorded in testing. About the same as the less expensive, roomier, and smaller Honda CRV hybrid. Similarly, the Equinox EV's braking performance is middle to back of the pack, with the single motor car recording a 189 foot stop from 70 miles per hour and the dual motor variant with smaller wheels and tires, 19s versus 21s, doing a little better at 178 feet. This experience with the front drive Equinox should encourage everyone to tick the $3,300 option for all wheel drive. The addition of an induction motor to the rear wheels increases total power to 288 ponies. That chops the 60 miles per hour time by 1.9 seconds and cuts the quarter mile time by 1.5 seconds. The all-wheel drive version, though, has slightly less EPA range at 285 miles. However, in our 75 miles per hour highway range test, the two Equinox variants achieved identical results of 260 miles, which we attribute to the differing wheel and tire setups. Although Chevrolet doesn't provide range figures for each combination like some automakers do, our all-wheel drive test car on smaller 19ths versus the 21s on the top trim 3RS front driver erased the difference in EPA range figures between the single and dual motor powertrains. Once underway, the Equinox EV is a comfortable if unremarkable driver with well-weighted steering and an inoffensive, cushy ride. Drivers can pick from multiple settings of regenerative braking, including a one-pedal drive mode, 
A paddle on the left side of the steering wheel smoothly applies maximum regenerative braking if desired. Available Super Cruise, Chevy's Level 2 Driver Assist System, provides hands-free driving and automatic lane changes on compatible roads and highways. Charging and trim levels. Regardless of driven wheels, the Equinox EV has an 85.0 kWh battery pack that can accept DC fast charging up to 150 kW. We saw a peak of 158 kW when charging from 10 to 90%, a test during which the Equinox added 100 miles of highway range in the first 17 minutes, with the entire charge taking 51 minutes. On a level 2 charger, like at home, most Equinox EVs top out at 11.5 kW, or around 34 miles of EPA range per hour. Faster 19.2 kW Level 2 charging is reserved as an option for the 2025 Equinox 3RS with all-wheel drive, increasing the miles of charging per hour to 51. The LT and RS trim levels have identical features and tuning, differing only in appearance. The LT has lighter design elements, while the RS has black wheels and darker exterior trim. The top-spec versions, denoted by 3, offer niceties like ventilated front seats, a power-adjustable front passenger seat, dual-zone climate controls, heated rear seats, and a universal home remote. Cargo and storage. Like the interior, the 26 cubic feet of cargo space behind the Equinox EV second row is toward the smaller end of competitors. That's due to the design of the rear hatch and the way the glass begins sloping downward almost immediately after the C-pillar. Most other compact SUVs, electric and otherwise, have designs that make more space available in this area. Because the reduced cargo area comes from the upper rear portion, this will be most noticeable when you splurge on that big screen at Costco. The cargo floor has two height settings, buying a precious couple of inches when you need it. But using the lower setting requires relocating the bag holding a charging cable adapter. Fortunately, there is a small bin under the floor that can hold it, or you can leave it at home. The Equinox EV doesn't have a frunk like the Model Y or the Mustang Mach-E. Pop the hood, and surprise, like in a gas-powered car, there's the powertrain. Overall, the Equinox EV largely balances out. It offers a compelling range per dollar figure, but the model with that big range number lacks the zesty acceleration we've come to expect from EVs. It has an enormous and quick-acting center screen, but it doesn't play as nicely with your phone as most competitors do. The interior defies the laws of spatial efficiency on paper, but it's largely unnoticeable until you get to the cargo area. Charting a middle course isn't a bad thing, and we're sure the federal EV tax credit will tip the scales for plenty of shoppers who qualify, but it's up to each owner to determine whether the Equinox EV is worth the sacrifices it requires.